So we're going to check out Fabledom today. This is a, a storybook uh, city builder. I think it's probably the best way of explaining it. I think that's what they, how they explain it as well. Once Upon a Village by Greena Games and published by Dear Villagers and Do Yo Yo. Do Yo Yo. Do Yo Yo <laughs> Games. Uh, uh, it's. Um, it's not out yet. It's coming out here this quarter. Uh, there's a demo, however, available here on the Steam page for this fest. And we're going to check it out. So um, it has this sort of quirky storybook kind of feeling to it. But it's, essentially, it's a city builder. A colony sim. <laughs> Let's go ahead and begin. Okay. Okay. We get a random map each time. We're going to choose a region on this map. Now, there's there's more than just building a colony here. We, like, there's, um, there is some sort of, like, uh, I guess it's like some sort of romance char char characteristic or whatever uh, to the game. There's also, there is some sort of war stuff to the game. There's a lot of little things in there that I haven't quite seen all of in there. But it seems like there's a lot of playing things. Uh, this is my C. We, of course, we can change this. And it does change quite a bit. So we'll redo it and see. We just get a little different look. Uh, we're been building our managing our kingdom. We're exploring our realm to find new secrets and rule through love or war. Uh, that's all quite a bit different. Let's go and choose. Um, we can go with Drebanor. Drebanor sounds good. I like it. I am a prince. Uh, it's a realm size is large. There's hills. There's oceans. There's forests all around here. Uh, Drebanor. We can leave it at that. Uh, I'm a prince looking for a princess. My name is. Uh, Nook. Let's play some Fabledom. Chapter 1, a new building, new beginning. I have turned the graphics down to medium because it did not play nice with my recording software. It does look a little nicer than this on ultra mode. I'm on this ultra and I'm on the second next step down, which I think is called medium. Um, but it just didn't play nice on the top level. So it, it gets a little prettier than this, but... Uh, and I'll show it at the end here. But we're going to do a little camera work here. Zoom out, zo scroll around, all that stuff. Claim 10 Where bucks. Oh, Let's yes. go make some things. Our kingdom began with little more than a humble laborer's hut. Now, where did that go again? Hmm. Okay, so we're going to go and do the things we've done a few times on this channel before. We're going to go make some uh, some roads. Like that. Cost me, uh, cost me uh, 10 bucks. Place some roads down. Like that. Little road there. And also, we'll put on a laborer's hut, which you want me to do. Uh, oh, one more road. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, road. There we go. Okay. There's a little stretch of road. We're going to put on a laborer's hut. This is the guy who's going to go mix things. We'll pop him in there. It does have a... That is not a water drop. That is a arrow for where the entrance is. Put that there. And we'll pop in a peasant here. This game has a little bit of... Um, it's very cozy. Very cozy colony builder. Um... But it also has a little bit of kind of a foundation feel to it. And I'll show you where that is in a second. We just assigned uh, Matilda here to be a, a builder. And she's working very hard sitting there. We're going to claim my 10 bucks for doing my quest. And we're going to go and build ourselves a home. And I'll show you where this comes in. So we do place the homesteads down. However, um, I'll show you here. Let's put the home in. Let's take it across the street right there. Now... The ho it's a homestead, not just a home. And so the homestead is going to have a foundation to it, which is a place where they're going to go and, like, make things. So we can make this thing, we kind of click and drag. We make this plot of land for them. It wasn't like that. So they have a little fenced-in area there, and so it's kind of random. They're going to throw in one of these things. We can we can do this as well. But they're going to add in, like, clothing lines and beehives and dog houses and chicken coops, and they will add them into this spot. And it's like... So it's kind of like a... 51 gold there. It's kind of... um kind of like Foundation. If you haven't played Foundation before, it's a fantastic city builder. It's in development. Um, and it kind of has that feel to it where the villagers kind of manage their own little home. We build it here. But we'll see how this works. So as they build this little house, it's a very cozy. Cozy is the word, I think, for this one. The first homestead. Yippee! This is where your fablings live and eat. A head of household is required for the homestead to operate smoothly. Now, make sure one has been assigned, won't you? So, uh, looks like uh, Cecilia here is the head of household. Uh, I guess we can change it around if we want. Uh, but it's fine. Make sure it's stocked with food and other resources. They've got that all stashed in their home there. They don't have a well in, in range. We'll get that in a, uh, in a second. They do have a doghouse, which is giving them a plus three desirability. They also have a, a greenhouse they have built in here. 
which is random, what they put in there. Um, and we can give them a larger plot of land so they can add more things in or whatever. Um, but we want a well now, so let's build a well in the second house. So well has a certain amount of coverage, and we'll throw it in here and make sure our houses are in that spot. So we'll put it like, I don't know, like right, um, like right there. There we go. Some things require upkeep, costs three bucks to keep the well up and running. And let's go ahead and make sure we get a second house, which is what it wants me to do here. And I'll put this one, um, uh, well, not, we don't want that right next door. We'll scoot it down just a little bit. And we can do the same thing. We, this would be a big one, you know, something like that. And they got a clothesline and they got a chicken coop. Build that thing. Let's go there and then, and then like, um, that way. There we go. There's our uh, our road. We'll get a roundabout in just a second. I saw I saw the roundabout. Shout. <clears throat> hey, Farf, how's it going? <laughs> so, build more houses, uh, and then welcome the new Fablings. I've had my eye on this one for a little while. Um, I, I've I think this is one of the ones I actually had on my wish list, which I don't do a lot of wish list stuff, but I saw it pop up on I think Twitter or something. And um, just by looking at the screenshots, I thought, that looks nice. And you know the word, cozy. So they're building a well. They also have a clothing line, which is adding some desirability to their house. And they got chickens. And I guess this is going to sort of give them a supply of food. I think it tells me here. Produces f home uh, produces the homegrown resource. It can only be eaten by residents at the homestead. It can't be stored anywhere else. So it just basically gives them... That. As long as you keep your population happy, more will want to join. As long as there is room, of course. Welcome, welcome. Okay, new folks have arrived. I collect, I collect my money, and I want to build a farm. So let's go build ourselves a farm. The magnifying glass is stuck on there. We'll put the farm uh, stash. I don't have any water sources to. Uh, I don't think the land fertility is a thing. At least I haven't noticed it yet. There are things out here. Which we'll see if we can figure that out in a minute. Let's go pop a farm, uh, like over here, I guess. Like that. Farm's gonna need some farm things. We need like 20 of these. Uh, what's that? 8, 16, 20. There we go. Build that. I make some pumpkins. That grows over time, at least as long as I was a farmer assigned, which he'll be there in a second. And, um,. We'll sign our farmer in just a second as the uh, as they build this. Um, I think there's a way to move the map with a mouse. It's not edge scrolling. Well, I'm middle clicking. Oh, um, I'm using WASD. Is that what you mean? Oh, with the mouse. Yeah, none of that. I don't know if it's it's just a demo, so who knows if anything re rebindable. Ah, there is. Look at that. Camera rotates a little bit. Oh, there's world world map and territories. What is that? T T nothing. Well, it looks like some newcomers nothing will yet. arrive soon, but there's no available housing. Uh, to see how many days are left until the next arrival, hover over the population icon at the top of your screen. They arrive in seven days. We got three unemployed folks. We need a farmer. Let's go ahead and add them in. I think we need two farmers. I guess one farmer is enough, so we'll send in uh, Beatrice. And we'll get ourselves a lumber camp. Let's get a farm, uh, a homestead first, though. And we'll set this one up over this way. Can I do something like a little crooked? No. Okay, build that one. And then we'll get ourselves a lumber mill, which I think I'll we'll stash it in, like, over here in these trees. Go the all important roundabout of town, and I want to make sure we get the uh, resources lumber camp because, as we know, if you don't have a roundabout, you might as well not even play the game. There we go. Chicken coop finished there. Just build on this house over here. 
appraisement, and he is right. Uh, I'm in a room for nine people. We got uh, six in town, two unemployed. Build a lumber camp, which we're working on right now. Let's put the, the speed up just a bit so we can see some things. What is this, like a ruined? It is a ruin. Not available in, during the demo. Spread across the realm are different. Encounters the encounters can only be interacted with using your champion. Old decay structure, perhaps there could be something of value inside. I'd love to see that, but I can't. We got like a waterfall over here. Well, it wouldn't be a storybook thing if there wasn't a waterfall, would there? Does this match? Does this land match the look of my region that I chose? There's the water over there. There's water on both sides of it, though. I don't know that there is. A map, M doesn't do anything for map. I'm curious, maybe that'll be unlocked hmm, in a minute. This can't be right. It seems you got a letter from a secret admirer. Mm. Odd. Well, I suppose there's no accounting for taste. It's just joshing. <laughs> you can open it by clicking the letter icon at the top center of your screen. You will let me know if there's anything good. I don't... I don't... Hello, Arborthia. My sun in spring. Such a splendid eye land this is. Undulating hills and wide fertile plains. It is the dream of our ancestors. I wish to make this land into a paradise. I cannot do it on my own. Your dashing countenance is already the talk of this land. Shall we meet? Sure, Arborthia. Come on. I didn't have a chance to say yes. Come on over. Uh, let's go ahead and decorate this place. We can get bushes down. We can get flower plots. We can get public outhouses. Is that is that a... That's pretty. Let's put a nice tree. There. It's raining. And then we'll uh, we'll put a nice bush next to it. And then we need a... Um, what's the difference? That one. And then we got a skinny guy. Put the skinny guy right about there. Oh, I have more. What else do we have? Oh, we have a sign. I suppose we could use an outhouse in this place. That's good. That's, that's what should be in our in the middle of our town square. You gotta go, you gotta go. And what better place to go than the center of the roundabout? <laughs> Four houses in the middle. Dance around it while it's being used. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. There was a lake to the side. There was a lake to the. Was there a lake to both sides? There's a lake over there. I think there's a lake all around. Well, no, I guess it is. Maybe that's just fog. Uh, that is that is just fog and stuff. I think it does actually match. There's the the borders. I think it does. Neat. Yeah, this is my um, my my zone. Check that out. Okay, let's collect some money and taxes. We're going to go ahead and fast forward and get some money and taxes. I'm going to go make sure we got a house, though, so we have more people coming in. Who are coming in in three days, so let's go make sure we get a house for them. Put them across the way here. I'm going to do something like this, and then we'll, we'll farmstead. I don't know if that matters, but we'll, like that. Little one. That. We'll do one more. Let's try some variety here. Wait, wait, wait. Like that. Yeah. And then, and then, hang on. Milestone reached. Goodness gracious, we already managed to find enough fablings. Brave enough to trust us. We got territories in Stone Camp, Coal Maker, uh, no crops, granary, and forester. Forester, by the way, is a little bit exciting. I'll show you that in a second. Okay, welcome, new folks. I'll claim that. Uh, the forester is actually an addition. So this guy over here, we can actually add the forester on this way. Uh, an attachment. So we'll go ahead and pop that in there. And it goes in, I guess we'll put it in like right there. Okay. So, uh, come over camp to the forester, build a stone camp and a stockpile. We've got a granary, we can stash some food in. Uh, we've got a stone camp, and there's the coal maker. So stone camp needs to go on stone spots. Well, that's what makes sense, I suppose. Turn you like that, way. Right? Yeah, like that. There we go. We'll get a road on over there. Okay. And 
And then we need, what else? Uh, a stockpile. Right, right, stockpile. Um, there's an inn. Where's the stockpile at? Resources? Yeah, this fella should probably be somewhere. Probably over here. Put it like... Hmm. Stash it like right there. There we go. Okay. So if you need more, uh, some storage buildings have dynamic storage. We can use check boxes to control which storage can go in there. Put everything in there. It's fine. Uh, I think we might need, we've got how many people we have not working? Three? So we'll put in an extra lumberman. Wood seems to be pretty important, so we'll make sure we get that, that running. And, um, if we get too much food, then we'll make sure we build our, uh, our, our granary. 60 days of food remaining. I'm sure we'll never run out of food. We work yard, which was Central Square, Road one side, and Forest Lumber on the others. Yeah, I figured the, the lumber camp and the, and the stone guy can be kind of close to here, and it's not too far from everywhere else where they live, so that might work. I'll go ahead and add in my peasant to work there. I think I have one extra person, one unemployed. We'll put that as the coal maker. Is that what? No, 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 we just need a stockpile. We have enough room for one more uh, family, assuming there's two of them again. Let's throw one over here. This one actually has... Look, there's chickens running around. Oh, that, they're, they're connected. Chickens, and there's a food coming in. We got chickens and, and food. Oh, those... Oh, those are, I thought, those are watermelons? No, those are green pumpkins. Clothes lines. Where's the dog at? Can I see the doggy? I want to see the doggy. Okay, new folks have come in. Okay, we'll claim that one. We uh, select Fabling using the overview menu. Assign him using the overview menu. Let's see what that means. Uh, Thomas. Using the overview menu. Um, oh, the button right there, it's, it's yelling at me about. Okay, great tool for managing your people. Switch between tabs for more information. Okay, we got a population, we got a workplaces, uh, which needs somebody, so we can go and hire someone there. I guess what we want me to do. We got that one. So we can go and say, like, uh, unemployed Thomas. I want you to go work over here. Okay. Oh, let me select a fa fabling here, too. How do I select you? Select. There we go. Okay, we're going to get a comfortable place. Well, good. I'm glad you're happy, Thomas. Okay, claim that one. We need to purchase some new territory. I'd love to. Territory map. Yeah, yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah, look at that. There's a little lake back there, but there's our ocean over there. Neat. Uh, I want to purchase this spot up here, I think. There's sheep, there's stone. There's ruins next to us. We can't get those anyway. Let's go buy this spot over here. Okay. We'll need an in. Can I hit M for the map? No, just territory. Yeah, there's our stockpile over there. Uh, let's build an inn and get an innkeeper then. Next step, I suppose. I need more wood and more stone. What are we doing over there? We have just one person in here. I suppose we could put another one in. We got two extra people. Put them, put them to work. Um, I believe we could probably, this well, which is just over here, we could fit like a little house right there. Like a road can come up and put a house there. I'm not sure that roads are real important. Like, if they're a necessity. I think they just walk faster, that's what it says in the tutorial. Look at that. Take that tree. 
Okay, there goes all the wood we were trying to get in. But we've got, I think, enough to get the in now. Was it 25 we needed? There is buildings in here. There's military in here. So there's a, there's a hero quarters, which we saw before. There's a barracks for housing soldiers. We have swordsman grounds. And then we have archery grounds. Of course, for the hero operations, spawns a kingdom's hero while well placed. I'm guessing these things have something to do with that. What else do we have back here? Decorations we saw. There's everything. Fortifications. We can put walls up and watch towers. Let's get that in, in here. Place these close to housing, okay. Put the inn right there, then. Look at the, uh, the water filling up the, the road. Putting puddles all over the place. What you making there? Doghouse. No dog, though. Okay, once the inn's built, we'll sign an innkeeper, and that'll be done. We gotta haul that stuff all the way, all the way over here from this place. It's so cozy. At the land plots, do you do you leave two squares unclaimed in the middle? Do you give some to me. Um. Oh, I think I did. You think you're right? Yeah, you're right. I did. I think I can go... I guess there's a couple different... I could put a, a decoration there. Or I could give it to them. I can add in more foundation here. Like that. And there's a little spot there. Let's put a decoration in there. Something like... Um, well, none of those, I guess. How about a nice tree? I hope we can get over there to build it. We'll see if they can actually build that. If they can't, we'll just give it to someone else. Now, I think what we can also do is, I think we can come in here and we can say... We can only have two total attachments. Ah, they automatically build a couple of them. I guess we can change it around if we want. A personal favorite. Eh, I've got some stories for later. Anyway, the inn adds happiness to its surroundings. The happier your kingdom is, the more newcomers it will attract. Okay. Money? Reach village, uh, which is how many? Uh, village is at 18. So two more people come in when we got that. So let's throw in one more house. I'm going to put it in... It needs to be in water, which is there. We can always build another well. Okay, that going. We'll just do another one. Okay. What's our new thing we got? New decoration? We get ah a circular table. Yeah, 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 right, right there. Actually, it should go next to the inn, shouldn't it? Um, scrap that one. I'm going to put it over here. You can go across the street. You can, uh, have a bite to eat. Put it, like, right there. Maybe not across the street. There, and we'll give them a, um, I don't know, a nice, 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 well, let's get a nice planter for this one. There. Okay, beehives getting done. And um, I will show you real quick the ultra mode. There. Does not play reels? Well, it looks like it's okay actually right now. Actually, it does look okay. When I had to load up before, the, the wavy grass was, was giving me some uh, some grief. I guess it's okay. How's it look? Yeah, these are my pumpkins over here. 
Hooray, we're a village. We can now, uh, Kingdom Grows will be presented with requests. We got territories are allowed with B3, Fisherman Hut, Sawmill, Street Theater. Okay, I'll claim that one. Produce some coal and store some veggies in a granary. We can get a granary real quick. Fisherman Hut, I can do it. I don't have any water, but we can buy. Uh, actually, I guess I have that spot up there. I could rather buy this plot of land over here and, and then just fish over there. Can I just buy this? 200 coins. That's all my money. Hang on, not yet. If I do it up on uh, on here, how many? I don't know if I can actually get up there. Ooh, so bright. I'm gonna tone down. I'm gonna back tone it back down. Just so it plays a little, little bit smoother. But you can at least see what it looks like. Uh, I'm gonna put a granary in. I kind of block myself off here. I we'll have to build a road. I'm gonna get a road right here. So I'll set it in right there. Eventually we'll buy one of these and we'll get we'll get a, um, a fisherman over there. Uh, we also need a coal maker man. There's a messenger guild. Can be sent to other realms to greet their ruler, send messages and gifts. Unlocks the world map. Yeah. That's going to be right over here at the tavern. We also need a street theater. Which I need some planks for that. Get a sawmill here. Uh, what's wrong with this guy? He's he's uh, he's noisy, bad desirability wherever he's at. So just put him next door. Yeah, but it's kind of strangely. I guess I can have a road come over here and out. Or we can just go this way. Cutting through my trees there. I'm all out of money. My money's... I had so much money. It's all gone now. Hey, money coming in. So this guy, Charcoal Man, needs to go wherever. He, yeah, he, and he's ugly. So I think we set him over here also. Where no one wants to be, which is over this way. Something like that. What a strange road setup. We should probably bulldoze this house. Okay, let's fast forward it. Oh, he needs planks too, doesn't he? Uh, planks. Okay. Well, it's getting done, so we'll assign someone to it. We'll assign someone to that one as well. Um, I have plenty of wood. We just need more. S we need everything else. Is anyone not assigned? We should probably check that out. Oops. Granary has no one, so we'll give a, we'll put Emma in there. Everyone's got got someone there now. That sound is. I first heard it sound like the sound in Dwarf Fortress whenever a uh, uh, someone turns into a um, someone raises the dead. You know. <laughs> What came to mind? Hey, Drongo, how you doing? How you been? Okay, let's go hang another house over here, I suppose. Why not? But my idea was to put this guy in here, and then we can have his area like this. I think it only needs to be oh, it needs to be at least two by two. All right, we we can do that. 
we go. So we got one more house. So we got plenty of room in here. Not too bad. Not too bad. I'm trying to get back into the swing, in the swing of things. It needs uh, bread and fish, which I don't, I don't have any fish. We haven't bought that spot over there. Prince Nook, we're running out of excuses to explain the lack of fish at our weekly club meeting. Not only does it reflect poorly on us, the highest tier of fablings, but also you, you as our leader. In this cycle of humiliation, now we need fish. Uh, I don't have any fish. Let me think about it. I'll think real hard about it. You're not getting your fish. Let me see if this, uh, if this how it works. Needs planks. So that's... Oh, yeah. There's no way. This needs to be, like, at the ocean. Or a lake. I thought it was, like, a river. But no. Man, I don't have any, uh... Any lakes for this. We're, a, we're not a sea people. We're a land people. Where's the ocean at? It's way over there. Well, I'm not gonna get any fish. Um, uh, you get out of here. It's snowy. So snowy and pretty and cozy. What's wrong with you? What's that mean? Um, it's freezing cold in here. It needs cold to stay heated during the winter. Well, I'm working on it. We made the coal. Why don't you just use it then? My stock probably is kind of full. Is it full completely? It's not completely full, though. So we got the coal. Let's just need to get moved around. Messenger, go, messenger, messenger Guild has been made as well. Secret Santa. What a childish game. It's below me in my stature. Unfortunately for you, I wasn't given any instructions, so enjoy this. You deserve it. Gift 30 coal. Well, thanks, Santa. Okay, the messenger needs... Uh, someone to work it. So Tony Lopez is going to go in there and do that job. Um, this guy is very smelly over here. Okay, world map. World map is used to interact with other other rulers, complete missions, and more. Click any realm and get started. Two realms occupied during the demo. So I can go to uh, Bright Brahimen or Aodrant. Let's go to Aodrant. Send a messenger. Okay. So we built a greenhouse, clothing line, homestead, money coming in. We have the money we can build, uh, we can expand ourselves, but again, it, there's no, like, there's no lake nearby. We'd have to go a long way over here to get to the ocean. Actually, it's outside my border. We have to go all the way over here. What's this purple uh, stuff? Looks cold out there. Purple stuff. Oh, look. My wand has shrunk. <laughs> we could go over this way, but it's a long... A lot of land buying I gotta do. <laughs> oh, um... Let's see. I own that one. Oh, you know what? I could just do one more. I couldn't give a really a road over there. I have to maybe do... What can I buy? Like, there's some water over here. How important is fish? We could buy this one. But I don't know how to get over there. I'll buy him. You know. Mm. I can get a bridge also, though. I don't want to try. Do I want to chance it? Let me wait till I have a little more money. Once he's arrived, greet the ruler with of the newly discovered realm. Okay. Um, I don't I like fish are really that that important. Um, I think it would be just fine. Food is for chumps. Speaking of chumps, uh, can't you grow? Oh, you can't grow. I think it said not in the demo version. We can't do wheat, um, or grain. It's only a full game thing. So we're going to let this uh, kind of play out. Two more visitors. we got plenty of room for folks. Hopefully someone wants to go and make some coal here for me. Um, I have a lot, a lot, a lot of lumber folks. Uh, I think I had someone that didn't have a lot of workers. Oh, the farm doesn't have a lot of workers. Maybe I should grab a couple more of them so we can stockpile a bit more carrots. 
pumpkins. More, more pumpkins. That was a Seinfeld reference, that's for sure. Like a frightened turtle. Uh, I did play, um... I did play Pirates. Uh, uh, Port Royale 4. Yeah. Demo population limit reached. You've reached the limit of... Oh, No more moon newcomers. Well. Fine. Uh, what we'll do is we'll wait and we'll see what this, um... What this, this messenger does for us, because I'm curious about that. Uh, none of the, I don't think any of the military stuff is in the game. Yeah, yeah. So we won't get to see any of that, but at least we can get a, we can get a, a look at some of this stuff. Oh yeah, street theater. Throw that in here. Maybe we should, that should be. Um, Praise on Tinti. Where's my water spots are there? See, so that's over there. Let's just let's just stick it right there. Okay. Chapter two. Meet cute. Um, oh, you're from there, Arbothea. Welcome to my bountiful kingdom. I trust that your intentions are honorable. If I can give you 40 vegetables, you'll like that? Oh, I, I can't say it right now. Um, well met. Look forward to getting to know you. Uh, each room has a ruler with their own personality, missions, and rewards. To learn about the ruler, click on the I button next to the avatar. Relationship with each ruler is affected by your interactions. Some require a specific relationship level. For instance, to start courting, you need to be first be friends. Uh, let's take this. Uh, Fabledom's enchanting May Queen and Princess of the Harvest herself. She values healthy fields and flowers. So if I give you like tulips and things, you'll like that. Is that what I was trying to say? Maybe that's what she gives me. I can flirt with her. I'll wave at you first. Okay. Um, I can send in a spy. Requires an embassy for all that kind of stuff. So anyway, I can I can send him. I guess I'll send him a messenger. Flirt. I don't do anything. Okay, let's uh, try sending another messenger and see if we can. We'll, we'll send her some veggies. Not yet. Sending you well wishes. Hello. A slight gain, and in thirty days we can do it again. Okay, we'll try that, and then we'll go sit, we'll go visit the uh, visit the other folks, and see if we can um, I don't know anger them or something. We need someone to go and, and dance around, which is going to be Tony Merrick. Take my money. Oh, drat. Oh no! I, I knew I knew started. that was gonna happen. Oh, but it doesn't end here. <laughs> Listen to this. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, I cut that off. Um, we'll see what if we can. Uh, well, we can't trade or anything. We can't do embassies. I don't think that's even in the game yet. Um, puppet show, grand theater, concert halls. Stone quarry, iron quarry. I wonder where that, where that is at. There's a condominium and castle area. Hmm. I don't know where those things even are. They might be an extension of something also. I think some of these have... I think some of them have extensions. Not sure which, though. I say that. Maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, never mind. <laughs> uh, speaking of vegetables, we don't have any vegetables. We're gonna. <laughs> we have 21 days of food left. Uh, we're trying to send them off to some girl. We have a lot, a lot of coal either. Everyone's is is um, burn all that stuff. What was 30 days? How long is that? That seems like a long time. How many days are in each month? I didn't look at it. 30? It takes a season to uh, to chat with her. I need another messenger. Uh, 
well, I think we have uh, seen what what Fabledom, well, Fabledom will offer us for uh, for the demo, anyway. I'm intrigued. I uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing what, what what we can do with this when the full game comes out. Message delivered. Okay, where are we at now? Still neutral. I can go to you and send a message over here. Let's see what these guys are all about. I can't send another one to you until for some days or whatever. But in nine days, we'll go to Brahimen and see what they say. Let's just take a look and see what Brahimen is. Then we can call it. Time has been hard. We tried our best to put the food on the table, but we're out of options. We heard your your good heart and decided... Heard of your good heart and decided to swallow our pride and come here to beg you to help us. <clears throat> you see, we're having some troubles of our own. We have a lot of coal. If you want to eat some coal, or not coal, we have a lot of rocks. We need some rocks. We can give you those. But um, that's about it. I just now got, thank you, Harley. I just now got that the Secret Santa came and gave us coal. I just now got it. It's fantastic. <laughs> all right, seven days. Okay, we'll wait seven days. I just want to see who this person is. See what that's all about. We'll insult them or something and see how how that makes them feel. Also, we're about to start starving, uh, and I don't know if it's. I guess we need another farm. Ideally, we would probably start getting some, um, start getting a granary and all that, or a, a mill and all that in there. But this isn't in the demo. So that's my excuse of why I'm dying. But there's the windmill. Uh, ooh, a large chicken coop comes with a built-in alarm clock. Uh, pig sty. And a bakery. Okay. And lack of coal in town. And we're officially out of food. So uh, people are going to be dying soon. I suppose the other also thing would help us out is if we had a fish spots. And I don't know. There's the bridge. What it takes to make it. I have to build a gravel road. I can't do that because there's no demo. There's no way of getting around here. Anyway. So if we build this, I don't know if they can even get over here. Discovered uh Giovanni. Hello, Giovanni. Hello, neighbor. Oops. Um, pleasure to meet you. I can give you 50 bucks. Yeah. Are we friends? I can I can court you. Oh, I can't court you because it's the demo. Alright. Alright. Um I don't like you and do not agree with how you rule your kingdom. There you go. Okay. On that note. We call it a day. I am intrigued. There is Fabledom. At least a demo of it. We'll see what happens with it here uh, in a few months or whatever when it comes out. Go, oh, drat. Your story was just getting started. Yep, yep, yep. Alright, there we go. Uh, this was by who? By uh, Grain Ah Games and Dear Villagers and Doyoyo Games. Relaxing. I think uh, uh, the word I would use is... Um, uh, what was it? What did I say it was? <laughs> I had a joke there and I, I lost it. Um, I don't remember what the joke was. Speaking of jokes, let's just open up the old book and see what we can find joke-wise today. There's two knives laying side by side in the silverware drawer. One knife turns to the other and says, You're looking sharp! <laughs> okay, I got another one for you. David's hungry. Stops at the local restaurant for a bowl of soup. The waiter brings it over and places it on the table in front of him. David's stomach rumbles with hunger. He picks up his spoon, excited to take his first bite. When he freezes, nestled amongst the tasty noodles is a fly. Waiter, he calls. The waiter rushes over, yes. What is this fly doing in my soup? The waiter leans over, his nose almost touching the bowl, and replies, The backstroke. <laughs> there you go. On that note, there's enough fabledom. <laughs>